This is why high dose biotin could be the answer for your blood sugar, your smell, your taste, your neurological health, and your skin health. Now, high dose biotin is not always needed, and too much biotin can make some neurological problems worse. And this episode is covering just when to use it and how. I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn. I have a PhD in nutritional sciences, and I am going to teach you about biotin. The use of high-dose biotin supplements has increased almost 30-fold over the last 20 years for such problems as diabetes, smell and taste disorders, disorders of the hair, skin, and nails, and neurological disorders such as multiple sclerosis. Studies show that it can improve, it can improve diabetes, and case reports show that it can miraculously recover lost smell and taste even when the smell and taste were lost as a result of surgery or the side effects of medications or other supplements. Yet, some studies show that multiple sclerosis gets worse on high-dose biotin. And I personally developed clumsiness, short-term memory loss, and a short temper on high-dose biotin. Some studies show that blood sugar gets better, yet it made my blood sugar worse. High-dose biotin can also cause wide-ranging errors in lab tests with the potential to mask recent heart attacks, pregnancies, or allergies, to misdiagnose thyroid conditions, to give false signals about the presence or progression of tumors, to falsely raise vitamin D, B12, and folate levels, to falsely alter many hormone levels, to generate false positives for HIV and hepatitis, and to lead to unnecessary surgery and possibly even death as a result of diagnostic errors. Most people need more biotin than they get. And some one in 30 people need high-dose biotin for genetic reasons. Most other people need more but should be getting lower doses. So how do we know how much we need and whether we're getting the right amount? When's the right time to break open the bottle of the 10 milligram capsules? This episode is covering the safety and efficacy of high-dose biotin for all the conditions documented in the literature, its potential anti-fertility effects, and how and when to balance it with other vitamins. What you're going to find in here is why not everyone needs high-dose biotin, and how we show that a high dose is necessary, biotin response of genetic disorders, and whether these genetic disorders are rare or more common than you think. Does high-dose biotin have pharmacological effects? High-dose biotin for loss of taste, for brittle nails, for blood sugar, high-dose biotin for multiple sclerosis, why MS and many other neurological problems can be driven by biotinidase deficiency and, and be masquerading as these specific disorders, the potential anti-fertility effect of massive biotin doses, whether we need to balance biotin with other vitamins, and then at the end we'll get to the bottom line and that will be a wrap. As a disclaimer, I'm not a medical doc doctor. This is not medical advice. Please discuss this content with your physician before taking any action on it, acknowledging that any action is taken at your own risk. And then finally, the rest of this video and podcast are only free for 48 hours. After that, they will be reserved for MasterPass members only. So watch or listen to this while you still have access to it. And check out the link in the description for where you can get the video and podcast for ever, as long as you remain a member of the MasterPass, and where you can get the article version that's written and fully referenced with links linking out to all of the research articles that went into this. Not 